have my measurement uncertainties and I'd like to combine them and calculate an uncertainty in k. So k equals i times d squared. That should be constant if we did indeed have an inverse square law. So I need d squared and the uncertainty in d squared and I need the irradiance and the corresponding uncertainty. Now uh, the d squared values are in g27 and down so I'll start off with those. Um, I'll put equals in here. G27. And I'm actually going to copy from that the column heading and the next one, which was to the right, which was the percentage uncertainty in D squared. The next thing I want is the um, irradiance heading which is that and then I want the uncertainty in the irradiance which is that. Now that I've got those references in there then when I replicate the formula down I've got a couple of blank rows underneath that I pick up my values one two three four five six so just have a quick check I've got 400 up to 14,400 there and 0.11 and then I've got an average irradiance going up to okay so that's not worked so I can see that should actually be in there that should be H39 so it is worth checking that looks a bit healthier so I would like this column here to be formatted as a percentage and I've taken the wrong column here actually, so that should be L that should be M thirty seven M thirty six. And these should be M thirty nine and down. Double click that just to check. Format it as a percentage. There we are. So I've gathered together in a handy place the different ingredients that I need to construct the k value. So the k value is i times d squared. So that's the average radiance multiplied by the square distance. The percentage uncertainty in K is going to be the square root of the sum of the squares of the other, un other uncertainties. So I'm just going to borrow the um, delta symbol from somewhere else. And just make it into delta k. Now because these are percentage uncertainties in irradiance and square distance then I am going to get a percentage uncertainty in k. So that will be the square root of this uncertainty squared plus the irradiance uncertainty squared. format that as a percentage later. Finally I want to get the absolute uncertainty in K from the percentage uncertainty so to do that um, I'll format this first so to do that I basically take 
the percentage uncertainty and multiply it by the value in there and that looks about right. Yeah. I should be good to f replicate that lot down there. Again, definitely want to do a spot check. Uh, so we can have a look and see now we've got our final results. How constant was the K value? Um, eh, not bad, not particularly brilliant. I would say it shows that it's not behaved exactly as a point source. Uh, there's lots of reflections going around. Um, and of course, there's reflections from the lampshade itself as well. So your results might be better than this or might not be, depends what kind of lamp you used. It also does show how the uncertainties change. Um, and when you're closer to the lamp, you can see we've got a much bigger percentage uncertainty. And the most uh, reliable results tend to be kind of in the middle of the range. And then the uncertainties seem to be growing again. Um, so the only other thing that we need to look at, and we'll do that in the next video, is graphs and the uncertainties that go with that.